Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is another recorded video session and this video is recorded on the 6th of April on Tuesday at 9 a.m. in UTC time zone. Um, by the time that this video will be uploaded, uh, I will be in Japan, but I will be, have to stay in a hotel and I expect the Wi-Fi connection is not really good. So just in case I record this video and I would like to talk about the gold today on this series video. So yeah, before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is based on my own understanding, experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So I posted uh, in the analysis on gold uh, just earlier. So uh, let me open this one first. So uh, looks like the gold, this is a daily chart in gold and the market broke the Kijun Sen and the Chikou Span is touching with the candles. So this is ranging in the daily chart. So basically I stay away in this kind of condition. Before that, the market has been resisted by this descending plane line, the yellow descending plane line. It was resisted here and I was seeing the market was bearish still. But after the support at this 1676 level, the market will be tracing backwards and it just broke the Kijun Sen today. So let me switch it to the real chart. So this is once again gold in a daily chart. And so this is very tricky because uh, we have the, uh, the Kumo down, Kijun Sen down. And you might think that this is downtrending as per each mock definition, but you have to see Chikou Span. Chikou Span is touching the candles right now. So that means this is one of the signs for the range market, one of the signs for the market to be no trend. And also I see that the price is now in between Kijun Sen and Kumo. So whenever I see the price in between Kijun Sen and Kumo, I don't take this time frame to take trades because this is not trending. So we don't know which was going. It might go up and reach back to the Kumo or it might go down and comes below the Kijun Sen. So here's my next scenario. Um, my next scenario is just I put here um, for bearish. If market comes below Kijun Sen and Chikou Span breaks handles downwards, then market can continuously bearish as Kumo Kijun Sen still shows bearish. So um, one of the scenario is that for bearish, if the market keeps going down this way and comes below the Kijun Sen, and if Kijun Sen still points downwards this way, then that will be a good chance to sell. Hopefully the Chikou Span will be out below the candles like this. And if that's the case, I still look for the sell chance based on the daily time frame. Uh, and also the Kumo should also continuously bearish if it happens. So that's for the bearish side. Or if the market gradually goes down this way, then I think that Chikou Span will continue to overlap with the candles. So most likely I would be looking for the sell chance after a break of 1677 level. Because until then, that Chikou Span should be overlapping. So daily chart still continuously ranging so it might still be supported and goes upwards if Chikou Span overlaps like this. So that's for the bearish uh, scenario and for bullish scenario I put that if market continues to go up then we'll see Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen cross and Chikou Span break out and then Kumo break out which, call, which uh, becomes Sanyaku Koten signal and the market can continuously be bullish. So. If the market continues to go up this way, then it will break the break into the Kumo and Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen will gold cross and then a Chikou Span should go above the candles and then eventually if the market breaks the Kumo, then this becomes Sanyaku Koten signal and afterwards we might see a continuous bullish trend like this. And in between, I, I will do nothing because this is still ranging. Um, this and this is usually where people lose money because 
the market is ranging and it looks to be uptrending and looks to be downtrending looks to be double bottom but if the market continues to be bearish then this double bottom might be violated and it can continuously go down this way so but if the market breaks a the neckline then it can become a double bottom afterwards and then the market can break the Kumo but at this moment right now exactly at this price level um, we don't know which way it's going so the answer is to stay away from this chart or you can switch the time frame for example you can look at the weekly chart and uh, let's see um, yeah weekly chart is also ranging Kumo is too tiny Kijun Sen flat so this is ranging so there is no trend in the weekly chart and let's see on the four hour chart okay in four hour chart this is still ranging it just went downwards and upwards now and this it just broke the Kumo but Kumo itself is too tiny and too, too flat and Kijun Sen flat so this is still ranging so at this moment the best answer is to do nothing on this particular market and look at other trending markets so we'll see uh, where, where, which way the market goes this week or next week and I will continue to cover the topic on my future live streams so yeah thank you for watching until the end of this video I hope you liked it if you liked it please press a good button and I will see you on the next session so until then please stay healthy stay safe and stay gold bye for now matane thank you